Welcome to the December edition of your wine club. I'm Vanessa, the winemaker here at Adamo State Winery, and I'll be taking you through the selections we've made perfect for your holiday season. This is our 2017 Blanc de Blanc. So it's a traditional method sparkling wine made from Chardonnay grapes um, that are harvested early in the season um, so that they retain lots of vibrant acidity. The juice from the grapes is then uh, fermented in very neutral French oak barrels where it stays for about 10 months before going into a stainless steel tank where it will have a secondary fermentation started and put into bottle. So the majority of the secondary fermentation actually takes place in the bottle. Um, this wine is then aged on its lees for three years before it's disgorged, which means we remove the lees and the sediment from the bottle and uh, cork it with the, this cork that you know and love to open here. This wine has refreshing aromas of citrus, bit of lime, uh, but there's also uh, a really nice um, bread sort of characteristic that you get from that ferment and lees aging, sort of like a brioche or maybe even like a biscotti. has really refreshing bubbles and would pair well with all kinds of different appetizers. Sparkling wines are very versatile in their pairings. Uh, one of my favorite things to have it with is oysters um, and perfect for toasting with your friends and family on New Year's. This is our 2021 Estate Pinot Noir. Uh, this is not yet released in the retail store, but it is available to wine club members. Um, being a state, that means that these grapes were grown 100% on our own farm. This wine is really aromatic. It's got really nice flavors of cherry, some clove, a little bit of raspberry. And a bit of earthiness to balance it off. This month in your wine club, you'll find that we've included a recipe for a mushroom soup, and this would be a perfect pairing to go along with it. This is our 2022 orange wine. Um, now, orange wines are made uh, by fermenting white wine grapes with their skins during fermentation. So more like you would actually make a red wine and you get a lot of color and flavor and some different extractions from that aging, or sorry, fermenting process with the grapes. This wine was with its skins for about 43 days before we pressed it. It's actually from our own estate grown Videl and there's a lot of neat flavors in orange wine that you don't typically get from other white wines. So it does kind of have like a orange pico tea characteristic, a bit of honey, marmalade. On the palate, it's refreshing, but does have some tannin. One of my favorite things to have orange wine with is a charcuterie board. This is our 2021 Bistro. So this wine is a blend of Cabernet Franc, Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, a little bit of Malbec, and a tiny bit of Petit Verdot. It's got really intense, ripe cherry and dark fruit flavors, some blackberries, It was aged in French oak barrels for um, about
about 10 months before it was bottled. And it finishes with a really nice, refreshing acidity and a little bit of licorice and vanilla flavors from the barrels. I would pair this with some ribs. Smoked meats would be perfect. This is our 2017 Lenco Vineyard Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, the grapes in this vineyard are, come from really old vines. They're some of the oldest plantings in Niagara. So we're fortunate to have a partnership with this vineyard to get the fruit. Um, it's very concentrated, um, jammy, black currant type of aromas. It's almost um, a bit like tobacco and um, coffee type flavors to it. It's a very full bodied wine and it would pair perfectly with your prime rib dinner. This is our 2018 estate grown Chardonnay. Um, this is a library release wine, so it is only available in your wine club shipment. Being estate Chardonnay, that means that the grapes were grown 100% here on our own estate. This wine is aging nicely, it's drinking really well right now. It's got some complex aromas, there's some melon, green apple, a bit of uh, citrus zest. It's balanced really nicely with some uh, honeycomb and vanilla flavors. Uh, one of my thing, favorite things to have this with would be your Christmas turkey. <laughs> <laughs>